I might not be the biggest Despicable Me fan ever, but there is a trilogy. We do have a trilogy now. There are three of them. There's even a spin-off of a movie that I actually didn't like that much, the Minion spin-off, whatever. And I walked in this movie saying to myself, let's end the trilogy good. The second one wasn't my favorite either way, but let's walk into it. Let's see what happens. And I walked out saying, first one's still the best one. Despicable Me 3. The third installment of the Despicable Me franchise is here, and I was never excited for this movie. I, I, I guess I still have Minions taste on my mouth, because if you don't know, I actually did not like the Minions movie at all. I thought they were just, they are really funny in some parts in this movie, in this movie especially, and then the, just for their own movie, it just didn't work out for me. I actually am not the biggest fan of Despicable Me 2. Uh, I didn't really care for it. I don't know what I said in my review. I haven't seen that video in a long time. Or I don't even know if I reviewed Despicable Me. I don't even know. I don't know, honestly. But either way, I'm not a big fan of Despicable Me 2. But I do like the first one. I remember seeing the first one in theaters with my friend and my dad. Uh, we sneaked in, whatever, and we just saw it. And it was actually a pretty good movie. I like the first one. I don't own it or nothing like that. I enjoyed it. I like Steve Carell's Gru, and I like Kristen Wegg as Lucy, whatever. I enjoy the actors. I enjoy the animation, but I don't love these movie series. So this one's basically about Gru and uh, Lucy, whatever. So they lose their jobs as uh, agents, whatever. They lose their jobs. They're now home with their girls, whatever. They're living their lives, whatever. And then Gru finds out he has a twin brother, and then he's trying to reconnect with them. And also there's 80 villain, 80s villain trying to do evil plans, and Gru got to stop him and Groove's trying to get back in the game being an evil villain or whatever and I'll say this if you have a child and you're watching my video thank you for watching it you are a parent hello um and if you want to go see a movie and you just want to turn your bra off for a good hour and a half and let your kid enjoy the movie I think this movie will be good for you because the first was with me, a lot of parents loved it. I mean, obviously, the first one is the one that made this franchise huge. The first one is an actual good movie. It's a very good movie, very entertaining. It did everything right in every aspect that you could think of. And then the franchise went more kiddish in the second one, and it lost a little interest, but made a lot of money. Then the Minions, they were like, alright, let's make some money with more Minions. Let's give them their own movie. And then they made a lot of money. Minions made a bunch of money. So then the third one, they're like, okay, we've got all the money for Minions. We made the second one, got more kiddish. So let's just go, let's just make a really fully kids movie. And this movie feels like a kids movie. Like the first one had aspects of, like, adults could love it. This one really feels like a kids movie. And you can tell, it just this whole movie is filled with more jokes without kids, whatever. I mean, the parents could sit here and watch this movie, maybe chuckle a little bit, but that is it. Like, everything else, it is morally of a kid's movie. Again, Steve Carell is great as Gru, whatever. I think he does the voice very well. I love Steve Carell, and I think he's a he's perfect for this role, whatever. Kristen Wiig is great as the wife, whatever. The girls are great and adorable and cute, whatever. The Minions, the Minions are funny in this movie. This, this movie shows the Minions are great side characters this movie does the minions are actually very funny in this movie especially when they go to prison it when they go to prison it is actually very funny and i had a good laugh in those scenes i'm not gonna lie the prison with the minions is actually very funny um i didn't care for the twin brother storyline at all i really did it i right when it started i was like this is gonna this and this 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 is gonna happen here and uh, and i got the whole thing right this movie's very predictable and it's just very Kiddish. It's more of a kid's movie, I'm telling you that. But the thing I also really loved about this movie, well, I didn't love, I really liked, was the 80s villain. There's this main villain, he's voiced by Trey Park from South Park, whatever. He's like an 80s villain, he loves 80s, 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 and he was in this TV show, whatever, and then he, that show got cancelled in the 80s, and the whole time he's like all this merchandise with the show, and he's a freak of the 80s in that show, whatever, and the whole movie he is literally just an 80s mirage, whatever, and I, I enjoy the character, it was something different. I think the adults were more likely his character because I'm guessing all most parents grew up in the 80s and 90s and could relate to that more. Overall, though, I walked out of this movie saying it was cute. I think parents will enjoy the kids having fun. They can just sit there and take a good hour and a half nap. But the kids are going to love this movie, and I definitely say I this more than Minions and number two. I'll say that. But overall, I still like the first one the most, and I'm not the biggest fan of this franchise. So I will give this movie a C. I'll give it a C. It's an average anime movie. Definitely wasn't like nothing groundbreaking, whatever, but I enjoyed the animation enough. <laughs> that's all my review. I could, that's all I really can say. So, anyway, guys, if you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!